Tamara Henderson is a Canadian artist who for the last three years has been living and working in Canberra, Australia. While she's been there, she's been producing an incredible body of work that we're delighted to be presenting here at Camden Art Centre. Green in the Grooves is Tamara Henderson's most significant solo exhibition to date. It emerges from her time in Australia in which she became fascinated by the earthworm, by the processes of regeneration in the soil. It extrapolates those ideas into four central characters or archetypes as she describes them. These are the director, light, the gardener and sound. And for me, I think these are oriented around a kind of cardinal intersection, so above and below the light and the dark. The director has, in a sense, a visionary role. It's the overseeing eye of the entire exhibition. The gardener, by contrast, has its focus to the ground. It's nurturing, it's bringing things into being. The light and sound characters similarly balance each other, so the light is what allows plants to grow upwards from the ground towards the sky. It has a transcendent principle and the sound is the area below ground where light doesn't penetrate, where the earthworm navigates through the ground um, using its senses of sound and vibration. Central to tomorrow's practice is filmmaking and she often talks about being drawn to the camera, to needing to pick it up and document what's happening around her. But the centre of the exhibition is a major new film commission. It's about 20 minutes long and it really charts the entire process of this exhibition. So the film starts with composting and it moves through the different archetypes in the exhibition. The film then moves through these different processes that Tamara engaged with while she was in Australia, ranging from ceramic to glass production to working with bronze in a foundry, through to the techniques that she uses to dye and print textiles and also her paintings. There are 12 paintings in the exhibition and they move through each of the characters or the archetypes. The paintings also emerge from Tamara's own body-mind practices that involve Reiki, Trataka meditation and yoga. Tamara is concerned with issues of sustainability um, and how we engage with and treat the environment and in her practice is very mindful to not use materials which either pollute or are difficult to recycle. So in these last three paintings she's worked with pigments that she's actually taken from the earth. She's working with soil itself um, and she's created these very abstract forms which relate to um, the archetype of sound. So in this sense we're moving into the next gallery as well, into the realm of the worm. The Worm Affair is a major installation in Gallery 2 here at Camden Art Centre. It centres the protagonist, the worm, as this agent of transformation. In the very centre of the exhibition is a composting vessel and inside is soil that's being created as well as what Tamara describes as worm juice which is being extracted from the bottom. So inside this composting vessel are contact mites and they feed out to three gateways or thresholds through which one can move and hear the activity of the worms underground. So this is all happening in real time. It's a live feed. I think what Tamara wanted to do was offer visitors an insight into this realm which is otherwise hidden from us, um, but is so fundamental to the life that we take for granted. The Gardener's Bar is a restaging of Tamara's studio where she was working in Australia. She's restaged that working environment as a greenhouse um, that allows light in. We see in the Gardener's Bar her experiments, her sense of engagement with materiality, it's also structured around four characters. Um, and as I mentioned, one of the, the archetypes in the show is the director. And 
whilst this is personified as a, a wizard or a magician conjuring everything into creation, I think it's also an analogue for Tamara herself being the artist and, and the one that's created the entire scope of Green and the Grooves.